Hey everyone, so today we're talking about the new update on the Tesla mobile app. Now I believe this is version 4.0. Uh, it was just updated on iOS, so I have my iPad here on the on the right, which has the new version. And on the left is my Android phone, the Pixel 5. Uh, it's not available on Android just yet, but I'm, I'm sure it'll be out um, shortly. So this is what the old one looks like. So if you have a Tesla, you'll be pretty familiar with what it looks like here. So let's fire up the, uh, the new one to do a side-by-side -side comparison. So immediately you'll notice that the graphic here is actually a 3D model, whereas on the uh, uh, original app, it looks kind of 3D, but it's actually just a picture of your car. Uh, in my opinion, I think this angle of the car looks nicer, but you'll see um, what the 3D model can do uh, when I show you the app here. So the first difference I noticed besides the model was that now there is four icons here. So these are like the quick uh, kind of toggles that you get uh, on the left, same thing, you have your fan, you have your opening the trunk, you have unlocking the car. Now on the, the right one, the new one, there's an additional icon, the power icon. Now what they've done is they've actually just moved this charging item here into that icon. Um, they've also changed how it works as well. On the old one, if you tap charging, you get this menu where you can choose your, your charge limit, and then you have the option of opening the charge port if you want. On the new one, as soon as you tap it, the charge port actually opens, and then you have the option of changing the, the charge limit. I, I don't think that's a good idea, because uh, sometimes you might want to just change the char charge limit without opening the charge port, but that's what they've done. Uh, but tapping that again will close the charge port for you. Uh, so that's okay. So that's the uh, kind of the first main thing that I saw. Uh, the next thing is in controls, uh, you kind of get, you know, you get these options where venting, unlocking the car, flashing the lights, honking the horn and so on. Similar thing on the new one, but notice this. As soon as I tap it, the car kind of swoops in into a top down view. And then you get the same, same options, you know, opening the front, locking the car, uh, opening the boot and so on. You also get the, the flashing the lights, the honking the horn, starting the car and so on. Uh, I've noticed that you can't vent the windows anymore. So that's a bit of a bummer. Uh, I haven't been able to see if that's hidden somewhere else, uh, but maybe they'll add that back at a later time. So as you go back, it swoops out uh, back into like kind of the, the frontal view of the car, which looks really nice. On the old one, the menu kind of just slides away. Uh, so let's take a look at climate here. So climate, uh, both open now. So the climate is actually on at the moment and you'll notice immediately that the left one here, uh, it's, it just shows arrow. So it's trying to heat my car right now because uh, it's colder in the car than the outside. Uh, on the right, you'll notice that it's actually got an animated airflow showing here, which is really cool. You can also turn on the heated seats and so on. So that was always the case here. You could always do that on the old one as well. But the newest thing is the cool animations that you got there. So let's turn that off. So you turn that off and then, you know, the airflow show, uh, turns off there. Okay. So as you exit out of that, again, the car sweeps out, which looks really cool. Uh, location, I think this looks the same. Uh, there's no difference here. Uh, I guess one is using Apple Maps, whereas this one is using Google Maps. That might just be an iOS and Android difference. Nothing, dif nothing major there. Uh, next we have Summon. So this screen looks quite a bit different. Now I'm not sure if it's just a difference between uh, iOS uh, and Android, but on the old one you have your car icon and then you can press forward or backwards. Uh, on the new one, it looks like uh, it just shows a map at the start and then you can use your arrows down here to move a car forward or backwards. Uh, I think that might just be a difference between Android and iOS, but we won't know until the Android app is also updated. Okay, so that's the summon. Now they've added a new security option down here. Uh, that is actually just moving some stuff into its new section. So if you go to controls on the old one, you'll see that there's valet, sentry mode, speed limit. That also exists down here. So they've kind of moved that section into security. So nothing major there. Uh, upgrades and service, they were the same. It's just kind of a menu change, so nothing major in there. I think the biggest change might actually be for the power wall owners. So on the original app, if you swipe to the left, you turn on your power wall or you switch to your power wall so you can see what it's, what it's doing there. On the new one, same thing, you swipe that over. Uh, but now it's got a really cool graphic of like a house with like, you know, solar panels and like the power wall and like whether it's going to the grid or going to the house and so on. So right now my power wall is 100% charged. So the solar is just you know, powering the house a little bit and also sending it to the grid. Now there's an energy section here, which is actually the same as the power flow here, but you have to tap this little graph. So they've made it a bit easier to get to that. So you can, you know, highlight all these things 
and look at you know how much the house is using, how much the sun uh, is generating with your solar panels, and how much is going to the power wall and so on. Similar to the original, uh, the original you can actually overlay it. Uh, it looks like you can't do that anymore, which is a bit. Oh, you can, you can do that. Um, but you just tap that, and then it will actually show you uh, that there instead. So I think the old one is easy to use, but that just might be me not adjusting to the new change. So that's the energy section there. Let's go back there. And then we have impact. So this is uh, similar to performance. That just shows you how much uh, is being generated by solar, how much uh, is going to the power wall and so on. So that looks cool. And finally, there's setting and support. So they've mostly updated like the graphics so that most things are animated. You know, the models are actually 3D. Uh, I think the animations for the car looks the coolest because you know it swoops in shows you like a 3D model of the car and it shows you like the animated airflow. So I think that's about it for this video. Uh, I can't wait until, you know, the Android app is updated because the phone is the thing that I use uh, most of the time. But yeah, I think that's about it. I uh, hope this is useful and thanks for watching.